I uh, don't normally open up a hive this early. It's only like mid-February, but it's about 51 degrees out. And I kind of saw some signs of robbing on this hive in particular. Now this hive was actually a little weaker than I would have liked to have seen it going into winter. But I just added sugar syrup to the other hives. These four are my newest ones. They were, you know, last year was their first year. These all come from splits and swarm captures and um anyways i put sugar syrup on those three up there and they all had live bees in the top they're not really flying even though it's 51 degrees it's kind of a little windy um nothing flying over here no movement when i went to go remove um i took the top cover off and when i pulled the the jar out to feed them I noticed the bees were in the top dead and I was like you know that's not a good sign so I went ahead and made an exception and took this one off basically what you got here you got some old an old pollen patty they never finished up dead bees down through the side I'm sure that any honey that was in here is gone now. But I'm just going to go ahead and look to make sure. Dead bees in the bottom. No stores on any of the frames. At least the first one I pulled out. they were pretty weak they had um roughly six or seven frames that were mostly filled out but yeah they they got nothing that's basically what they do they will cluster you'll see it on there on the other one too they'll cluster and and it's not looking so good that they didn't have a whole lot of food. But it could be too that they've already been robbed out. Because, oh, this has got honey or something in it because it's heavy. A little bit of honey there in the top. Bees clustered. A little bit of honey there. The bees are clustered. sad so that'll be one less hive i got to maintain go ahead and look here i'm pretty certain there's not going to be any any live bees in this hive they may have froze to death too i mean they're kind of a weak hive the cluster looks like to me it's kind of spread out this frame's also got honey in it bees are clustered on it Um, there's another one of honey. I mean, it's like they had food. One thing I'm not seeing, though, I'm not seeing any. Yeah, this has got honey in it also. Actually, it's still got some pollen down here. A lot of honey on this side. A lot of pollen. Or a lot of uh, uncapped honey. And I'm kind of seeing the same thing there too. So uh, it's possible something could have happened to the queen. When they. I know that the queen was fine when we went into winter, but it was kind of a lot of uncapped honey there. Well, it's really not bad that this turned out this way, and let me tell you why. Literally what I can do 
as soon as one of my hives ramp up as soon as one of my hives ramps up for spring I can split I can do some splits over into this hive the workers will clean all of this stuff up they've already got the honey will be gone by the time there's there's no way for me to save that but what they'll do is they'll leave the comb behind and I've already got one two three four five six seven seven and part of another comb frames of comb and when I do a split that'll be less work the new bees will have to do that I move into this hive um, I'll just feed them a lot of sugar water and uh, they'll be okay now I could actually block off the front of that I might I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna block off the front of it that'll keep robbers from getting in there and getting to the honey and then I can save what little bit of honey's in there for when uh let's see don't want that one don't want that one don't want that one I thought I had one of these where I could actually block that all the way off well I'll put it back in here like this and then I'll just put something over the front of that. A rock or something. But anyways, that'll give me a head start for the next uh, bees that go in there. Uh, there's a stick over here I can put there. But the good thing is I did have more bees than the other hives. No, I think I'm just going to leave that off. I'll let the robber. Uh, I'm so confused because it's like getting a head start would be great. There, I blocked it off. It'll only be about maybe a month or two down the road. And I'm going to need this hive. And I'm going to need it to have some stores. And uh, doing it like this will just help me some. But, you know, I, if the other ones make it, that's still not bad. Could be a lot worse. I had some years, well, actually, the first two years I was beekeeping, I lost two hives, my only two hives each year. So, it was getting expensive. Anyway, so hive is closed up no bees can get in there to rob it and then uh, I'll do a split and start this hive over again I actually have another hive down there that I lost I lost it back in the fall and uh, I'm gonna be moving that one that's down there back up here it was another weak hive and I was going to combine it with the one up here to make it one. And when I went down there to combine it, everything in it was a dead out. Don't know why. It wasn't, it wasn't a huge swarm anyways that I caught for that one. But So anyways, that's kind of the goal. This hive is now closed up. Probably March or April I'll do a split. They'll get a head start because there's already honey. There's already comb. And uh, these other, all these other hives up here were doing fine. They all had live bees in them. So just getting them to uh, March when the weather gets warmer. And uh, hopefully at, adding some sugar water today. A lot of the bees were up in the tops of those hives, which makes me think they might be low on stores. So adding that sugar syrup helped out. I'll check again on the next day that it's going to be over 50. I do have probably another three quarts left. One full quart there. And I got one, two, three, three pints. So I got plenty of that. Getting into 10 minutes. That's the update. I know I did a, a, a video yesterday on when I first checked these. I noticed bees were flying in 44 degree weather. 
I put a video up on that, how I make the sugar water, things I check for, things to not do in the winter time with beehives and that sort of thing. So I'll link to that video above. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.